What's up guys, Miles here with 9to5Mac, and today we're going to be checking out Vectornator. Vectornator is an all-in-one illustration, UI design, and publications app that's available for iPhone, iPad, and Mac. And to refine this experience even further, Linearity has released the next major update to Vectornator in version 4.0, which comes with a bunch of new changes and features. So let's dive in and check it out. And a big thanks to Vectornator for sponsoring 9to5Mac on YouTube. You can use this application for sketching, drawing, creating, and manipulating shapes, or illustrating over pictures you've already taken. You're able to manipulate the blend mode for images and objects, modify corner radii, and so many other cool things to create something simply awesome. And because of a unified code base, all of the features are found across iOS, iPad, and Mac. Vectornator is known for being one of the most powerful graphic design apps for iOS and Mac that you can get your hands on but the design and layout of the software is so simple and frictionless that it makes getting big things done very approachable and easy. One of the ways Vectornator improves on this in version 4.0 is through the new Quick Actions feature. These smart contextual menus will appear right under your selected objects, which allows you to easily access core applications, like changing opacity, stack order, booling operations, and much more. Another awesome feature you can find within Vectornator is getting access to Iconator, which is their library of over 80,000 different icons to choose from. You simply type in what you need, and Iconator will give you a handful of different results. And each icon can be manipulated within the editor, which is pretty useful. Vectornator also features Unsplash integration, meaning you can import high quality photos directly into the editor from Unsplash's massive library of high quality images. Vectornator allows you to export images in a bunch of different formats, JPEG, SVJ, AI, and even VN file types. But one of the coolest features this app has to offer is the time-lapse export feature. This allows you to export a video of the entire design process from start to finish in a quick video. This is a great way to show others how you completed your work and what steps you took throughout the process. Artboards is a great feature in Vectinator that allows you to have multiple frames within one document, and all you have to do is go to the Layers tab, choose your artboard size, and you're good to go, leaving your documents page a lot less cluttered in the long run. A nice addition coming to Vectornator with version 4.0 is San Fran Symbols. San Fran Symbols includes a set of over 2,400 icons that are designed to work perfectly with Apple's San Francisco system font. So using this would be perfect for conceptualizing a piece of Mac or iOS software. With all the new features coming to Vectornator with version 4, like quick actions, the Mac UI redesign, emoji support, and a bunch more, Vectornator is easily one of the best design applications you can use within the Apple ecosystem. And if you're interested in checking it out, make sure to click the first link in the description down below. Make sure to subscribe for future content like this, and a big thanks again to Vectornator for sponsoring 9to5Mac on YouTube. 